The first word I'm going to revise with all of you today is the word subject. Subject. Can you read the word subject three times? Okay, very good. What is the meaning of subject? Subject means the person, animal, thing, and place we talk about in a sentence. For example, you have Peter. Peter is a person. The tiger, this is an animal. The pencil, this is a thing. And Nibung Tabal, this is a place. All these are called subject. Now, you are going to write eight more subjects on your own. I'm going to speak in Chinese and you're going to write in English. Are you ready? Okay, number one. Woman. Woman. Person. This is a person. Woman. Number two. Nazi go. Nazi go. Animal. Number three, 那些书,很多的书,那些书, these are things. Number four, a place, 厕所. Number five, 我的朋友, 我的朋友. Is a person. Number six. 那只鸡和那只鸭. Animal. 那只鸡和那只鸭子. These are animals. 鸡,鸭子. Number seven. 那扫把,扫地的扫把, this is a thing. And the last one, number eight, 冰城,我们住的地方 is a place, 冰城. Have you finished? Now let me give you the answers. The subject is always at the beginning of a sentence. 这个意思是讲那个 subject 一定是在句子的前面 就是每当我们写一个句子的时候 我们一定要写 subject在前面的 Okay, let's take a look at a few examples. Right, the first sentence The boy is my brother. So the subject is the boy. We are talking about 那男孩子, this is a person, so this is called a subject. Two days ago, a dog beat me. The subject is a dog, an animal, 一个动物来的. Two days ago is not a subject. Two days ago, 两天前, this subject. Because subject means a person, an animal, a place or thing that we talk about. So, what do we talk about in this sentence? It's an animal, so that's a dog. So, the subject is this one. Number three, the blue pencil is mine. So, what is the subject? The blue pencil, the thing. Kuala Lumpur is a big city. Subject, Kuala Lumpur. This is a place. Okay, now you're going to read 
the sentences below, copy them into your exercise book and underline the subject. Number one, read this sentence on your own. Li Ping and Su Yun like to sing. Copy the sentence into your exercise book and underline the subject. Number two, quickly, the baby crawl to his mom, crawl, Japan is a beautiful country, Japan is a beautiful country. Last Sunday, a bird flew into my room. Read the sentences. Once you have finished writing, then underline the subject in each sentence. You can check the answers now. Right. Besides the word subject, the next important word that you must learn is the word verbs. Verbs. These are action words. Tongzi in Chinese. What are verbs? These are some of the examples like cry, cool, a verb, sing, tanker, this is also a verb, run, this is another verb, pop, put, this is also a verb, fun. Look at the pictures. See what the people are doing in the picture. Those are called verbs. So can you tell me what these people are doing in the picture? Right, so you're going to write into your exercise book. Start with number five. Da jitan, da. That is a verb. Okay, if you want to say that ta chu dong si chu is also a verb, you can write number five now, a verb. Okay, number six. Jia che se ma? Right? So, how do you want to say? How do you say jia che in English? Seven. This is easy. You can write on your own. Number eight. There are two verbs. 两个人吗?两个人做不一样的动词。这一个是喂。这个女孩子是喂那些鸡。喂。鸡吃。喂 is a verb. Then the boy. 浇花. So, 那个浇花。it's also a verb. Okay? So you can write two verbs for number eight. Number nine, say. You write say in English. Say to the say. Right? Number ten, jui. Nazamao jui. Lao shu jui. There's a verb. Eleven. This is easy. Right? You can write on your own. Okay, check your answers now.
different forms of verb. In English, a verb can take different forms. Let me give you an example. The verb qi in Chinese. In English, there is go, goes, went, going, and gone. All these verbs mean the same in Chinese. That's qi. Another example, chi. That's eat, eats, ate, eating, and eaten. So you see, in Chinese, there's only one verb we, we use as chi, but in English, you can have different forms. You can have eat, eats, ate, eating, eaten. Can you think of other examples on your own? Maybe you can write down two more on your own. Write them into your exercise books. Right, it is impossible for me to teach you all these different forms of verb in a day. So, for today, I will only teach you verbs with S and without the S. You're going to write down 10 verbs for me, verbs with S and without the S. Again, I'm going to speak in Chinese and you're going to write in English. Are you ready? All right, number one, write one, write one for me, one, one badminton, one football, like a one. Okay, so you're going to write the verb, you no, know, with no S, without the S, and with the S. Okay, so one is play, P-L-A-Y. The first one without the S and the second one P L A Y S. Right? So that's how you write. Okay, we go on to the second one. Number two. Her her sweet her her. Number three, Swoman. Where are so? Write in English the verb with S and no S. So. Number four, my. My dong si de my. My che de my. Five, yu yong. Yu yong. Six, ku. Ku. Seven, sui jiao. Sui jiao. Number eight. Pao. Pao. Number nine. Jia che. Jia che. Okay, you don't have to write the word car, but write jia. Jia che de jia che. Okay, and the last one. Mama Okay? Right? So make sure you have the verb with no without the S and with the S. Let me give you the answers now. Okay, now you look at the two tables. You have plural verbs and singular verbs. 
Plural verbs are verbs without the S. Singular verbs are all the verbs with S. And I always ask you to sing the song. Are you weedy? Go, go, go. He, she, it, one. Goes, goes, goes. Are you weedy? Put, put, put. He, she, it, one. Puts, puts, puts. Are you weedy? Drink, drink, drink. He, she, it, one. Drinks, drinks, drinks. Okay. Now, when you look at plural subject, you have I, you, wo, ni, we, woman, they, tamen, Ali and John, the boys, 那些男孩子很多的, the cats, 都是很多的, okay, so all these are considered as plural subject, 就是很多的, right, 但是 I 跟 you 是不一样的, I 是我一个人, you 也是一个人, 但是他们还是算是 plural subject, so this is something that you have to remember, okay, and singular subject, they are he, ta, 男孩子的, she, 女孩子的, okay, ta, it, 是他, uh, 给动物啊, 给东西啊, okay, one, 就一个的, 什么东西, 一个, 都是 singular subject, Ali, 一个人呢, so singular subject, the boy, 一个, boy, the cat, 一个, the, all these are cons, considered as singular subject. Okay, so why do you need to learn um, plural subject, plural verb, singular subject? Must go with a singular verb. Okay, so you look at um, the Chinese. When you say, when you use the word 吃, 我吃, 他吃, 那只狗吃, 我和, 我朋友吃, 他们吃, Peter 吃, See, the word 吃 is used for everyone. 什么人都可以用吃的, 就是一个字罢了, 就是吃吃吃, that's it. Okay, but for English, you can see the different form, the one with S and without the S. When you say 我吃, in English, you say I eat. 他吃, she eats. See the S there? Right? Then when you say 那只狗吃, the dog eats. 我的朋友和我吃, my friend and I eat. They eat. Peter eats. Okay, so we have the S and without the S. So the one with the S is when you use it as singular subject. Like he, she, it, one, it's, it's, it's. Right, so she eats. Are you we they eat eat eat? So I eat without the S. Whenever we talk about the verb with S or without the S, we are actually talking about the simple present tense. 那么我们几时要用 simple present tense 呢? 就是 其实要用 I go, 等下有时候就要讲 she goes. Okay, so we use the simple present tense for habitual action. Habitual action means 时常发生. Now, how do you know that the action is habitual? 你这么知道那个动词是时常发生的呢? 那在句子里面, you will have words like every morning, Every day, every Sunday, every night, every weekend, and there are many more words that shows habitual action. We also have words that, uh, like always, usually, often. All these three words, always, usually, often, they also means 时常, 就是时常发生呢? Okay, so whenever we want to write or speak in English, a sentence that talk about habitual action, you will have to follow the rules. That is, you have to write the subject followed by the verb. Okay, let me give you one simple example. If I say in Chinese, um, 我的, 
，哥哥每个傍晚玩 football。Okay, so I say, 我的哥哥每个傍晚玩 football. Okay, so you have to tell me what is the subject. Who am I talking about? 我的哥哥每个傍晚玩 football. Subject is 我的哥哥，对吗 ？All right. So that is the person that we are talking about. 我们讲的那个人呢，我的哥哥啦。Okay, so the first word that you have to write in English in a sentence is my brother. That is the subject. Okay, after writing the subject, what must you write? The verb. Yes, the verb. Okay, so you listen to my sentence again. I say, 我哥哥每个傍晚玩 football. 我的哥哥每个傍晚玩 football. The verb. Is one. How do we talk? How we do? How do we say one in in English? Play, yes. And don't forget, we have two. One is play, P L A Y. Another is place, P L A Y S. So my brother, play or place? With S or without the S? With the S, yes. Good. Okay, so we have my brother is a he. Are you we they play play play? He she it one. He she it one. Place place place. So my brother, the verb is place. Right? Place what? Place football. And when? And the time? The time is every evening. All right. So when you write the whole sentence, you should write this way. You should say, "My brother plays badminton, uh, football, okay, or badminton or football every evening. My brother plays football every evening." Okay. So when you write this way, this sentence is wrong. You can't follow the Chinese way. You know, okay? You can't say. 我哥哥每个傍晚玩 football, or you write badminton, and you say this way. 我哥哥 you say my brother, 每个傍晚 every evening, play football. This sentence is wrong. Okay, why is it wrong? See, my brother is the subject. After writing the subject, you must write the verb, and the verb is play. And you have to put an S here because my brother is a singular subject and it goes with a singular verb with S. Okay, all right. So now you are going to write a few more sentences on your own, and I'm going to say this in Chinese, and you will have to write in English. Now, if I'm too fast, then you have to ask your mummy to help you. 就妈咪要读那个句子出来，然后就不可以给他看这一个荧幕了。然后，啊、嗯，你读了，他们就写写好，写好了就可以跟我对答案了，因为我会写答案在呃这个荧幕上。Alright, so sentence number one. 我每天早上喝牛奶。我每天早上。喝牛奶 ，OK。So you write your subject. 我，我每天早上 subject 我 ，OK。每天早上喝牛奶。So what is a verb? 喝 is a verb, right? So write your verb. And don't forget the verb 喝 is drink. You have drink. You have drinks. I U V they drink, drink, drink. He, she, it, one drinks, drinks, drinks. I subject verb. Write your verb now. S or no S? Okay. Drink what? 喝牛奶。牛奶。How do you say 牛奶 in English? Right. And 每天早上 Write it at the end of the sentence. 每天早上 So when you finish writing, you will have your subject. You have your verb. 
and you have the object นะคะตรง C เฮอร์สมอ and then the time Okay, sentence number two. 我爸爸每天晚上锁门。我爸爸每天晚上锁门。锁 is the verb. Subject. 我爸爸 verb. 锁锁 what? 那个门呢 ？Right. And then the time. 每个晚上。Okay, you write now on your own. 我爸爸每天晚上锁门。Next sentence. 他们每天买苹果。他们每天买苹果。每天时常发生，就要用那个 verb with s or without the s. My, buy, buys. Okay, so you write your subject first. 他们每天买苹果 Sentence number four. 那些男孩子每个星期日在游泳池游泳。那些男孩子很多的男孩子每个星期日。在游泳池游泳，那些男孩子很多的。Okay, so the subject, 那些男孩子，每天，每个星期日，每个星期日，在游泳池游泳。So remember, subject followed by verb, verb 游泳，游泳 ，swim, swims， 在哪里游泳？ In the swimming pool, 几时 every Sunday. Okay, so you write the sentence on your own. Right. After you have finished, then only you check the answers with your mummy. We are still talking about simple present tense showing habitual action. Besides words like every morning. Every day, every afternoon, every Sunday, there are other words which also means habitual. Always, usually, often. These three words also means 时常 Always 时常 Usually 也是时常 Often also means 时常 So therefore, if you use 时常 In a sentence, the way you write is still the same. Okay, I give you an example of a sentence in Chinese. 那只猫时常在桌子下面睡觉。Okay, 那只猫时常在桌子下面睡觉。And we are talking about 时常发生，因为我讲时常啊。那只猫时常在桌子下面睡觉。Okay, so the same thing. You have to write the subject first. What is the subject? Who am I talking about? 哪只猫 Right. So therefore, your subject you have to write first. Subject the cat. After writing the subject, you will have to write the verb. The verb. 哪只猫时常在桌子下面睡觉睡觉 is the verb, right? So. You will have to think of verb sleep, sleeps, subject with s and without the s. Sleep or sleeps the cat. One cat only. He, she, it. One sleeps, sleeps, sleeps. Are you with the sleep, sleep, sleep? He, she, it. One sleeps, sleeps, sleeps. So the cat, one cat only. So we have sleeps. Okay, so you listen to my sentence again. I said the cat, 那只猫，时常在桌子下面睡觉。So you see that you haven't written the word 时常。So now this word 时常是在 subject 跟 verb 的中间了
and you use the word always. 你也可以用 usually. You can also use the word often. But 现在我用的是 always. So how do you read? You say the cat always sleeps. 在哪里？在桌子下面 Under the table. So when you read the whole sentence, you will say the cat always sleeps under the table. 这个句子呢，不可以用怀疑想的话，你就讲那只猫时常在桌子下面睡觉。The 睡觉是在后面的。No, it has to be written subject this way. You have to written this way subject verb. And now because of the word always, usually and often. You will have to put it in between. 就是在 subject 跟 verb 的中间。如果你要用 always 啊， usually 啊， often 这三个字。Okay. Now you are going to write a few more sentences on your own. Okay. Get your mummy to read the sentence to you. Okay. Mummy 就会跟你讲那些字、那些句子，然后你就用英文来写了。Right. Next sentence. 他们时常吃面包。他们时常吃面包。Okay, you write now into your exercise book. 妈咪就不可以给他们孩子看这个荧幕了啦，因为答案有在这里面的。Okay, 他们时常吃面包。他们 that's a subject, so you write your subject. 他们时常吃面包。Subject 他们 and then you have the verb. 吃 ，so don't forget 时长啊，时长 you have to write in between 在 subject 跟 verb 的中间就要写时长了。他们时常吃面包。Okay, next sentence. John 时常驾车去 office. John 时常。驾车去 office， 去他的 office。Subject， 我们讲的是人呢、啊。John 时常驾车去 office， so you have subject John， OK？ 时常驾车去 office。The verb is 驾车。How do you write 驾车 in English？ Right， drive。You don't have to say car. You just say you can. You just need to write drive. Good enough. Drive or drives. Don't you sing? I U V D drive drive drive. He she it one drives drives drives. John. Subject. Verb. 驾车 Right. And now don't forget. 时常我讲 John 时常驾车去他的 office, so you have to write John subject verb 驾车，中间就不要忘记写 always, usually 或者 often 其中一个字，因为它是 subject verb 中间就是写这个时长。驾车去哪里 ？You don't say go. 去没有这边我们就讲 to, t o to to where to 他的 office. Okay, so when you write the whole sentence, you will have John 时常驾车去他的 office. Okay, one more sentence. Sally 和她的妈妈时常煮咖喱鸡 Sally 和她的妈妈时常煮咖喱鸡 So when you write the sentence again, you have to write the subject first. Who am I talking about? Sally 和她妈妈 Okay. Sally 和她的妈妈时常煮咖喱鸡 Sally 和她的妈妈 Subject Verb 时常煮 So don't forget to write your verb 煮 Cook Or cooks. 中间 you have to write 时长了 Okay, subject verb 是中间呢 And then, 咖喱鸡 You got chicken curry. And you write the whole sentence. 
and you have to read all the sentences again. Ask mommy for answers if you are not sure of how to write. Okay, we continue with simple present tense. This time, simple present tense besides showing habitual action, it also shows a fact. 就是除了 simple present tense 除了讲是时常发生的, 还是有一个事实, a fact是一个事实. So 当我们每次讲一个事实, 那个句子是关于一个事实的时候, 我们也要用 simple present tense. Okay, for example, um, 我讲那只狗有一条长尾巴 So this sentence is a fact, 一个事实,那只狗真正的它有一个长尾巴 right? So when you write your sentence in English, you will also have to follow the same method That is, you have to write the subject 那只狗有一个长尾巴 so, subject, what am I talking about? It's an animal, right? So, subject, did you see? Uh? 那只狗 Verb, 那只狗有一个长尾巴 So, the verb is 有 How do you say 有 in English? Have, yes, has Are you really have, have, have? He, she, it, one, has, has, has 那只狗有 有什么一个长尾巴 right so a long tail so when you write the subject subject verb and a long tail that's the object okay so when you write it out the sentence you will see your subject you have to write the subject first followed by your verb you you some Okay, so if you can't spell the words, then you have to ask your mommy or your daddy for the, for the spelling of that word. Okay, check the answers. Right, so 在这里, uh, 旁边的话就要帮他们怎么样去spell那些字体了，那些字了。给，但是不可以给他们看这个荧幕，因为在这个荧幕就是答案了吗？而我们讲的是呃华语，他写的是还要写的英文。Okay，Now we go on to the second sentence. 他走路去学校。他走路去学校是一个事实，是真的，不是。啊,坐车去,不是他脚车去的,是走路去的, okay? So when you write your sentence, it's the same. Subject, 他, okay? 他走路去学校, so what is the verb? 走路? How do you say 走路 in English? Walk, walks, okay? So write your walk or walks. If you can't decide, then you have to sing the song. Are you we they walk walk walk? He she it one walks walks walks. Okay, 他走路去学校. So remember the word "qi" is not go, but you have to say to, right? Because you have the verb. 走就是动词了了，不说不可以有两个动词的. So to to where? 学校. Okay, write your sentence now and read your sentence. Number three. 我住在尼邦特巴。我住在尼邦特巴。Okay, write your sentence now. Subject, 我。Verb,住。住。How do you say 住 in English? 在哪里? In 尼邦特巴。我们住在尼邦特巴。我住在尼邦特巴。Alright, other sentences. Number four. Peter 跟他的哥哥在 bank 做工. Peter 和他的哥哥在 bank 做工. Subject. Peter 和他的哥哥的 subject. 
What is the verb? Peter 跟他的哥哥在 bank 做工，做工 is the verb. So write your verb first. 做工，做工 work, works, sing the song, and you decide work or works. Where? 在 bank. Okay, ask your mummy or your daddy for the spelling of bank if you do not know how to spell. Right, read the sentence again. Next one, Johan 喜欢咖啡，是一个事实，真正的。Johan 喜欢咖啡，他不喜欢啊、呃、榴莲，但是他喜欢咖啡，是一个真正的事实，一个事实来的。Alright, so write your sentence now. Johan 喜欢咖啡 coffee. Johan 喜欢咖啡 And the last sentence. Peter 的爸爸在新加坡做工 Peter 的爸爸在新加坡做工 Peter. 的爸爸 ，Peter 的 ，OK， 因为 you have the 的 ，then you have the apostrophe s。Peter's father，Peter's，OK，、okay? apostrophe s father 的啊 ，Peter 的爸爸在新加坡做工。Okay, again the verb is 做工 ，so you have to decide work or works。Then only 在哪里？新加坡。Okay, so these sentences that you have written, they are simple present tense showing a fact, not habitual action. 它没有 every morning, every day, always 那一些字的，它是一个事实，是真正的啊。这一些句子也是要用 simple present tense. We're still talking about simple present tense showing a fact. 一个事实。Now this time the sentences are not the same. Okay, for example, if I say, 我很开心，我很开心。This is simple present tense showing a fact. 一个事实，真的我很开心，我不是伤心的，是我很开心的。Okay, how do you want to write in English? Subject, 我很开心。Who am I talking about? 我很开心。我 right okay so you write your subject I okay 我很开心很开心 very 开心 happy okay very happy but in English you can't just write I very happy this is wrong okay why because I is a subject you don't have a verb right so when you don't have a verb then this sentence is not correct and Every time when you write a sentence, I used to tell you that you must have a subject followed by a verb, right? So in this case, if you say "I very happy," this sentence is not correct. You have to write a verb there. And what kind of verb do you need to write? You need to use "am." I am very happy. So this verb "am" is a verb. And you need to know the few words which is called verb to be. Okay, for example, you need to remember, I am. You are, we are, they are, Toto are. He is, she is, it is, Sao Sao is. Okay, you remember this first. I am, you are, we are, they are, Toto are. He is, she is, it is, Sao Sao is. Why do you need to remember this? The verbs am, are, and is. They are actually verb to be. They are called verb to be. So they are verbs. 他们是动词来的，但是他们不能，你不能做的，可不是睡觉，你可以做出来的。这种不能的是 am, are, is. 他们是 verb to be. 所以一定要有。如果当你没有动词的时候，你就要想。要记得要用 is am are 这三个字先 ，OK， right？ Then how do you want to remember? You sing the song again. I am you are we are they are dot dot are he is she is it is 少少 is 
Okay, so when you write, 我很开心 you have to say I subject. 不可以 say very happy. No verb. So where's no verb? I am. Okay, right. Let's take other examples. Right. Um, mommy will have to help, but um, you cannot. You don't allow. 不可以给他们看这一个荧幕。Okay, 不然的话，等下他们写不到了。Right. So, for example, okay, you write number one. 我们很伤心，我们很伤心。Okay, so your subject, 我们。Okay, write your subject first. We, okay. Verb, 没有动词。伤心 is sad. 我们很伤心。So you have to write your we subject. Verb, when there is no verb, 你没有动词的时候，你就要读这里哦。I am you are we are they are 多多啊多多的就啊。So we. So ah, 然后很伤心 sad, very sad. So you write your sentence. Subject, 我们 verb, 很伤心 Right now. Okay, other examples. Right. Mummy will have to read out. Okay, mummy 讲出来，然后他们就自己写了，不可以看荧幕啊。那些男孩子生病。那些男孩子生病，很多的男孩子生病。Okay, so write your subject first, followed by your verb. 没有动词就要唱这个 I am you are we are they are 多多啊 He is she is it is 少少 is the boys 很多的男孩子。Okay, 然后 verb 然后是生病啦。生病 You know how to say 生病 in English? Do you know how to write 生病 in English? 我们在这里，我们在这里，在这里 is here. Okay, subject 我们 verb 在这里。One more sentence. 我的老师很善良。我的老师很善良。So you have to write subject. 我的老师，善良，很 is very okay. 善良 is kind. So you, 我的老师很善良 So you have to your subject right first. Verb. Then only you write 很善良 Okay. The verb must be there. Okay. Read all your sentences again, and you check your answers with your mummy. <laughs> 